Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines 2 where we are in the city of Tampere and I'm just kind of checking out the city. I got the sun a little bit lower today so I, I actually made a few changes so I installed some mods finally. I was like just getting such a headache over some of the small little details and I'd seen some other creators playing around with mods and I was like you know what it is time and just for this appearance I think it is worth it. The overall game I think looks so much better when you can control the sun. I think it looks awesome. I really love just like the look of this, like the the rays running off of the, the lights. I mean, it's still pretty high in the sky, but here, let me show you. So we can go into here and what it does is I can actually save it for being like a specific time. So if we go, and it says 430, that's, so if we go to five, you can see how low it is and how it actually helps to create these shadows. Like, man, look at that. That looks awesome right there. I just love the look of this, especially with the light fog in there. I did mess around with the fog too, so that whenever you zoom in, the fog isn't there as much. I, I played around with the volume metrics for it. So if you go into these clouds, you can come all the way down, go to attenuation distance, and I went to 10,000 because I still wanted the fog kind of present, but as we get closer, I wanted the fog to be able to disappear so that we could see the buildings more clearly and there's just a lot of other settings that you can play around i set my contrast i lowered my temperature because uh, i like to have that a little bit of a blue tint i think it makes it look a little bit better i did also play around with the shadows though it is very low 0 0.010 and i don't really think i played around with anything else i didn't but there's a host of other options as you can choose and the mod i believe is called save camera settings or something like that but before we jump in let's go ahead and change this back to a more reasonable time let's go to six i mean we still get some shadows you know what i think that looks good so on today's episode we're actually gonna be getting a little crazy we're gonna be playing around with this intersection i want to have this kind of duck down into a road i want to do a cargo we need to do our rail yard but then i also want to do a cargo terminal so i think we're going to turn this whole section into an industrial area and i've been kind of playing around i'm a little bit in the future on this city on another save and I've been playing around with putting an airport here, doing a bridge across. The first thing we're gonna do, just because this is gonna take a little bit of time and it's gonna really help us to kind of like cement the infrastructure for this area, we are going to delete all this. And the reason I'm deleting is because using the current infrastructure with the crossovers and everything is just really hard to get it to look good. So we're gonna go ahead and get trim all this back. And what we need to do is go into our highway settings I'm actually gonna downgrade any of these upgraded portions. And the reason for that is because I want it to be perfect. I want it to be exactly how it's supposed to be without having these exits that were there from the previous interchange. And so now what we're gonna do, we're actually going to trim this back just a little bit more. Let's make sure that we're also kind of on flat land, at least as flat as we can get it. I think that's probably about as good as we can get. We are on a little bit of a hill, but I don't think it's anything that we really need to worry about. So now what we're gonna do, we are going to go straight. We're gonna turn on parallel mode and let's go ahead and see if that is accurate. Let's maybe trim that back. Maybe if we can go 0.75, let's see. Can I write in there? Come on, you can do it. Oh, you'll do 0.25, but not 0.75. All right, you know what game? It's cool, I see what's going on. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go up right here. And for some reason it wants to give me a problem. Uh, so maybe we'll just go straight and then and then go up. So we'll go up like that. Perfect. So let's go like this. And then what we're going to do, we're actually going to bring this back and we're going to dump it into a road fairly quickly because I feel like it really helps us to capture a better look. So what we're going to do, these are two lanes going into two lanes. We can either do this small four lane or we can dump it into a six lane. I'm tempted to do a six lane just because it's gonna provide a little more access for this. And of course I put that on the wrong side, look at that. Um, we're gonna provide just a little more access. And so we're gonna go just like this. We're gonna trim this back and we'll probably even go just like this because we're gonna need those for some of our connections anyways. And then we'll come in here, let's go to continuous. And then let's go ahead and line this up. I'm gonna turn off toggling just so I can get that. Actually, you know, turn back, turn back on toggling. So we want to be just like this. I'm gonna turn off toggling, go just to the right. And then what I'm thinking, we're actually going to kind of curve this up. I want it to dump into this road ideally. So let's let's go like right here and we're going to curve it in. Probably gonna go just like this right there. And then let's see if we can get 
this to look good. So if we go just like this, and just a few moments later, here I am. I wanted to give it a little bit of interest rather than just having it go straight. And so I kept going back and forth on the initial design, but um, you know what, I think that looks good. So we're now we're going to connect this up. If I can go just like that, perfect. And now we're going to come from the other direction. And I wish this was a little bit straighter, but you know what? I think that looks pretty good. And we're gonna have the opportunity to come back through here and kind of play around with that a bit. So now that we have that, and you can kind of see we did mess up a little bit over here. So this is definitely something we would want to pay attention to. Um, so two lane, let's go that way. Fantastic. Let's do the same thing on this side. That would be pretty important having those correct. So what I'm going to do is do a partial clover leaf. I'm going to upgrade a couple of these portions, probably about like right here. And then let's come back about the same distance on this side. Why do we have a wobble? What? Oh my gosh. You know what? This is just this is frustrating what's going on let's connect this back up perfect wobble gone and now that we have that we will grab our single lane one lane highway road we're going to come out here and in order to get this correct you kind of got to play around with this a bit so we do need to be up i want it to be right next to that road and we're going to bring this straight i want to make sure so we did dip down i want that to be the same level so one of the ways that you can actually make sure that that is correct is the awesome little uh, tool that you have with that slope. So it actually tells you the percentage that you're going up or down. So that still did say down 0.4, which is kind of frustrating, but you know what? We're gonna leave it like that. One of the things you need to keep an eye on whenever you're trying to do any sort of circle, especially if you want it to look good and be symmetrical, um, your top road is actually a big part of that. So you want this to be in the center of the top of your circle. So you ideally want it to go like this. And so we are going to turn on complex curve. We're going to turn back on snapping. We're going to come out and you want to make sure that these are the same distance. We're going to go out 36 yards. We're going to come down. We're going to go 36, looks like 35. And we're actually going to drop this down to that second step right there. We're going to go down one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come out 35 again. We're going to try to match that up again. We're going to go down one, go right there. And then we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to go down 35, 35, fantastic and it looks like that is good. And so now we can go straight. And one of the things you, you do have to kind of pay attention to is those pillars. So it's a little bit better if you can actually get it like right here versus where I got it. And so if you find yourself in this predicament, especially this curve is a little off anyways, um, what you need to do is bring back this front one. And so that is gonna be your problem here. And so a lot of times, I, instead of even trying to play around with that one little section, I'll go ahead and remove that and then bring this up. We don't want to go down and yeah, we ideally, I mean, maybe right there. Yeah, that looks good. And then go back to our one and that actually brought it down a little bit lower, which is kind of good. So we will grab that now and we want to go out 35, come out 35, go down one. Fantastic. Do the same thing here. Go out 35, 35, go down one. Fantastic. And let's go ahead and see. So it looks like, yeah, 36. Let's bring this out, 35, fantastic. So it looks like this actually uh, lined up pretty well. That, that ended up working out pretty good. That looks pretty good. And it does take a little bit of practice to be able to get that as good as, as I got this. Um, so now the tricky part is just matching it on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. All right, and there we go. I did end up having to go a little bit further away from the highway on this one, for some reason, one of the pillars for this side actually landed right there. So I had to kind of snug it over. But overall, that looks pretty good. I find 35 yards being pretty good. I did end up changing my uh, system outside of metric. I know a lot of you guys use the metric system, but we use the imperial system here, which is really dumb, but just something that I guess we all know. So now what we need to do is have a couple flyovers. So we have this one that has access to this road. We have this road that has access to this road. But what doesn't have access, this road does not have access to this road. And this road does not have access to this road. And so the way that we're going to combat that is actually by creating a couple flyovers. And so we want to turn on snapping so we can figure out a good distance for this. So I think this is probably good. What we're going to have to do, though, is we're going to have to wrap it around, go over the circle and come in diagonally over here because building these is, is kind of tough, especially without move it. Like if we had move it, then we would be OK. Um, I do have Anarchy, but it's still not really the same as Move It. And so um, we are able to place things that otherwise wouldn't be allowed to be placed. But without Move It, we're not able to kind of fine tune a lot of that stuff. And so we will come out here 
and we want to begin to go up. So we're gonna go just like this and then we will curve it around. And this is really where it gets kind of tricky guys. So you want it to go up and you wanna kind of keep an eye on this because remember we have our small steps in there and this could definitely be an issue if we're not paying attention to it. And so we want to come in literally right there and then we want to try to curve it around. And this is really where it gets tricky. Like you're gonna come into a lot of problems because of those middle pillars. So you gotta really kind of just play around with it until you're able to get it. A lot of times it even requires just simply going in the middle and you just wanna turn off snapping and try to get it in there somewhere. Like if you can place the pillar between the roads, what can also help is just separating the freeways a little bit more. This is ideally what we wanna try to do because we have the clearance. We just don't have the ability to move those pillars. It's kind of frustrating. So I can anarchy that, but you see where those bottom pillars are going in. That's just gonna create a big problem for us. And so what I'm basically gonna do is just play around with this until I can get it. It takes a little bit of finagling and then I'll be able to show you guys afterwards what it took. All right, and just a few moments later, I have finally finished. And I did have to kind of do a pivot a little bit. I wasn't able to get a swooping curve to go around the outside. So I actually had to use Anarchy and I went all the way in the middle. And so I did end up making this connection without Anarchy, but then I ended up having to use Anarchy to make this one because it really didn't want to have this road as close to this as possible. And then I did actually use a new feature that I have, which is to put these key walls next to this. And you're able to do it on both sides, which I think is awesome. And I want to say this is extra landscaping tools maybe, or something like that. Um, I got it from City Planner Plays. I was kind of watching one of his and I was like, man, that is a cool mod. But I think that looks really good. I like having the, the wall there. I think overall, this is a really cool look for this. And so now I'm just gonna do the other side. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go down the middle for this one, just because this connection, it's gonna provide a really weird kind of look. But if I am able to make it, it'll actually help us to kind of separate these other lanes. And so I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll see, and I'll, I'll get back to you guys whenever I'm done. Okay, and after playing around for with it for a little while, I was able to get it to work. And I actually really like this. I did leave open a lane for us to be able to curve this down. I think we're ideally going to probably turn this into a two lane. I just, I couldn't get it to look that great with this. So if we go ahead and turn off toggling, let's see. So let's turn on anarchy. Let's see if we can get this to look a little bit better. Yeah, if we go like that, I think that looks pretty good. And then we actually can come in here and put the little key balls on here, which I think is awesome. So we'll go ahead and put these all the way down. I think we will go like right about there because what happens is this road actually begins to curve over our highway a little bit. And so we have to kind of be careful of that. Um, but I think that looks pretty good. I like the walls. I really like the appearance of that. I like that it naturally put the walls in for some of these as well, but I think this looks really cool. I like the overall look. Now all that's left is just to hook up these side connections. So these are actually the easiest part. I'll just have this come down, dump into here, have this come down, dump into here. And then we'll have a connection come up come up here, come up there, and come up here just to complete the whole look. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. All right, so just a few moments later, I have finished. Let's go ahead and check this out. So first off, this isn't the final product. We're gonna come back through, do some trees. I'm gonna play around with some decals and stuff and really get this to look good. Unfortunately, we really can't play around with the lanes too much, but overall, I think this is looking pretty good. It's not as symmetrical as I was hoping. It's really because of these crossovers. It was just creating a really tricky scenario. So I decided to have this branch off a little bit further down. I could have had it branch off here, but honestly it was already a little too high. And so for us to branch off from this height and then to go down, it just felt a little weird. And so I decided to keep it down here. It does look like we have a little bit of a tear happening. We may need to come back and kind of fix that. But I did have all of them dump into two lanes and then merge into four lanes which is really gonna help us out with traffic as our city expands. This is gonna become a pretty important connection. And so a couple things we do wanna check before we move on, let's go into road services. Let's make sure that we don't have a light right here. There's a good chance we do, yeah, we do. So we want to remove that. And we ideally don't want any turns. It doesn't look like we have any weird turnarounds there. That is something that you do get every now and then. And then we wanna make sure that we don't have any weird left turns which it doesn't look like we do. In City Skylines 1, whenever you were to make these a lot of times, like these, it would have a weird turnaround option sometimes. And so it's something that you really had to pay attention to. But I think this looks really good. I like the overall look. Again, during the detailing time lapse, we'll probably start uh, playing around with how it appears. And let's go ahead and check out some of these roads. So let's check that out. So it says traffic flow, pretty high. We have traffic volume. So traffic volume is the number of vehicles using the road at different times of day. So we have, I mean, quite a bit. So it says like 125 cars an hour, which is fantastic. I mean, that's quite a bit. 
and I, I really like the look of this. I think this looks really cool. Oh, look at that. Look at these poor guys. Man, there's like a ledge. They'd be crashing right here. All right. Well, back to the drawing board. I'm going to go ahead and fix this real quick. All right. So just a few moments later, I was able to fix that. We do have a little bit of a kink in here. I may play around with that again, but overall, I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and check that light just one last time because I played around with that. Let's remove those lights. We do not want lights there. All right. And so now that we have that done finally, and again, I just, man, I don't like that a lot, but you know what? I think it looks good. So we are going to do a few things here. We need to do a rail yard first. So we are going to put this rail yard actually on the line. So I want to kind of line this up. We want to go like right about there. I wonder if this is going to allow me to place this without messing it up. I haven't done this yet, so I'm kind of tempted. We're going to go ahead and hit it go. Let's see what that does. Let's see if we got like multiple tracks in here or something. I kind of feel like we might. So if we, oh, no, it actually, uh, look at that. It completed it. That's fantastic. So we can come back through here. Let's redraw that in because we got some issues going on. So we want to connect that up. Fantastic. And we want to give this road connectivity. I feel like that would be pretty important. You know, road connectivity is definitely a must. And then we are going to curve this in. Didn't really mean to do that again. So we'll curve that, go just like that. And then let's go ahead and have this just 90 off of that and go right into this roadie. I think that that's going to be good. So we do also want to get a cargo terminal in here, which is going to be pretty important for us. So let's go back to trains and we are going to do a cargo terminal. And ideally, I would really like to get this kind of butted up like right next to this. I think that this would be a really cool look. It's going to help us to kind of diversify the overall appearance of our of our rail yard. So we're going to go just like that. And I did have to use the anarchy for that. Um, you're you're not able to fit those in there. Otherwise, let's make sure that we did not mess up anything here. So we look pretty good. We definitely, we got those little, uh, those lines right there. And I don't like that this is right there. You know what? We, we're going to move this back. So let's go like right about here. And then what we're going to do, we're actually going to go into this little alleyway and we're going to kind of create a connection like this. So now we do want to go back to our, our full blown um, road. We want to go just like this. I think that looks pretty good. And I overall, uh, I like the appearance of that. And we can kind of have this road go through. Maybe that's like a service road or something. Um, we do need to connect up these other rail lines though. All right. And so now that I have the lines drawn and I do want to give this building a couple of its upgrades just because I feel like it really helps us to capture a better look in there. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. I think it looks good. We're not going to be able to expand this out because we did put the cargo terminal right there. But overall, I like the appearance of this a lot. I think we are going to extend out our arterial right here. So let's begin to go straight. Let's curve this around. And then what I'm thinking is we'll actually connect up with this road. And then that way we can actually connect this. Yes, yeah, so I, I get it. I get it. So let's um let's upgrade this road first, not turn on an anarchy upgrade. So we will go just like this. And it's kind of frustrating that that baby road is giving me problems. So let's go like that, upgrade this again. And then that way we should be able to just connect this up. If that will allow me to select the tool, come on game. There we go. Perfect. And then that way we can come back here. Let's grab our little road. Why is this like not at a 90? We want to go just like that. Let's turn back on anarchy Man, this is like frustrating. So we're going to go just like that. Perfect. Nice. And so we have our little road in here. It's providing connectivity and we could probably even do like a couple little warehouses. That would be an awesome little look. And so let's, um, let's go in here and we just want a couple warehouses. We don't want anything crazy. We're going to do four by fours probably two of them. So we'll go just like that, go just like that. And then what we're going to do is we'll play whack-a-mole with that to kind of see what comes in. Cause we really want it to capture a specific look. We don't want, so yeah, let's go like that. Let's go like that. And then this way we can actually do some smaller ones on this side. Um, we don't want anything with uh, smokestacks or anything. And so we're, we're looking pretty good overall. I like the look of that. I think it looks awesome. Remember, this is going to be an industrial area right here, and then we're going to be playing around with some parks and other residential stuff over there. All right, so I ended up having to delete our rail yard because I was kind of having some issues with that road that was in there. I had tried to anarchy it, but the problem was this rail line because it was already there. It actually wasn't reading correctly, and so because I did anarchy these in so close to each other, I ended up having to replace pretty much all of this. Luckily, though, 
um, they snapped right into the rails, which was really nice. And so I did connect up our cargo line. I got these guys popping in. And so now we are going to play a little bit of whack-a-mole with some of these because we don't want any of those smokestacks. We just want like some little warehouse kind of guys in here. Um, like I think these look pretty cool. I think that they're nice buildings. I kind of wish that we could play around with this a little bit more. Um, we do have a little bit of leeway with some of our ground textures. So I think during our detailing time lapse, I'll probably come through here and kind of tra change some of the ground in here to make it look a little bit better. Unfortunately, though, we don't have anything other than trees. I don't have any rocks or anything. And so it does kind of limit us a little bit. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and move on over here. So we're going to do an industrial area on this side. We're going to kind of do a residential office space transition on this side. And so the first thing I want to do is kind of connect up our grid and make this make sense. We want to be at that 90 degree yeah, right there, 180. Perfect. Let's hope that that is correct. And then we'll come out here, do the same thing. If we can get it, fantastic. And then let's go ahead and extend out our collector road over here as well. So we'll go just like that. Fantastic. And I do wish that this road actually connected up with that. So I think what I'm going to do is pause real quick and we're going to bring this road out and then we will grab our big road and let's try to see if we can get it to continue on. I think that this could be good. Yeah, if we go just like that, fantastic. And then that way, what I'm thinking for this section is we'll actually change the grid orientation just to kind of spice things up a bit. So we will come out like right there, come out at a 90, connect it up, fantastic. And then I think for this side, we may limit the number of connections because I don't know if we want intersections that close. That could really be an issue for us. So I wonder if we can come this way, end it right there. And then what we'll do is we'll come out another one and then this will mimic going out two steps, which I think could be a little bit better for us. And it's gonna help us to kind of mitigate the traffic, control it a little bit better. So we'll come out, we'll do the same thing here. So we'll go 90. And then we will not connect this side. We'll go right up to it and then we'll copy that same kind of idea. All right, so I think we're gonna leave this empty for now for a future signature building. Cause I think if we go in here, I wanna say we're close to one. I think it's the fuel um, fuel plant. Yeah, so we're actually pretty close. I think we'll end up hitting that this episode. And so I think it'd be really cool for us to kind of put that in there. So basically what I wanna do, I think we're, we're gonna do a small little road cutting across. And this is going to be more at a direct line for us. And the reason we're doing this is because it's going to help us to kind of break this up. So let's actually come out here and we want to go out one and then we're going to come out at a 90. We're going to bring this all the way down. We're probably going to have it terminate right there so that it doesn't mess with the whole fuel line. And so we'll go just like this. Fantastic. And so the reason for that is because it's going to allow us to kind of come in here. We're going to trim these up just a bit. And these are the through roads. So I wonder if maybe we should do the opposite ones. I think that that would probably be a little bit smarter. So if we go like this and then I hate. Oh, so this one we actually let's go ahead and trim this back because I don't want to have that many connections. So we'll come in here, delete these two, delete this one and delete that one. And so now this is actually going to give us some nice office space in here, which I think is going to look fantastic. And so we could do a small path on this backside. And what this is going to do, first off, it's just going to be an extension of our of our sidewalk. So I'll actually come through here and probably extend out our cement to make this look a little bit better. Just to give you guys an example, I'll come in here, choose a little concrete surface. Not sure if this is the accurate, the, the best one to use, but we will try it anyways. And we can always come back and redo it. Um, this new tool is actually really cool. I, I like it. And of course I messed up. Um, one of the coolest parts about using this tool is it actually allows you, it actually allows you to, to move the current tiling that is with certain buildings. So we'll go just like that. Yeah, you know what? That actually looks pretty good. And we could even do some small little planters in here as well. And voila. And so by doing that, what we can now do is come through here and we do have a prop lane tool now, thankfully. And we will drop this down. We'll probably go all the way down to one meter since these are bushes. And we will go ahead and put these in here. Let's maybe move that over just a smidge. I'd rather it go perfect. Yeah, we'll go just like that. Fantastic. And we do want that to be a little more level. Yeah, we'll go just like that. And this really helps to just break up your areas a bit, make it look a little more official, um, especially since this is gonna be an office park. It's gonna look a little bit nicer. And a lot of times it's just these little details that can really go a long ways to make your city just look a little bit better. Like, see, look how that pops now. So what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and grab pine tree in here. And I don't think we're gonna do a fully grown. We're gonna do like the medium one. Yeah, there you go. So this is probably like a tree that is almost fully mature, but 
Yeah, you know what? We'll give them little friends too. So we'll put two in here. Do two. And man, this is going to look really cool. I'm really happy about this tool. I still can't wait for the actual PDX mods that we're going to be getting. But I think that this is a really fun addition. So another thing that we can do to kind of break it up. I think this will um, break our path. Yeah, so if we go just like that. Go just like that. So we will come in here now. Let's go ahead and do a path on this side as well. Just so we can get that clean zoning. And then it looks like we're going to need to regrettably do it on this side as well. I think the alternative, what you can do, we can actually just come through and delete these roads real quick and then come back through. So if we go just like that, we should be able to fully zone on this. Yeah, we can. And so let's go ahead and do, we're going to do some five buys. We want to get some big ones in here. So let's go ahead and unpause. And then what we can do now is grab our roads and we will come back through, place them in. And it looks like it did not do what I was hoping it was going to do. Um, it went ahead and put in that little bit of zoning anyways. I was really thinking that um, it wasn't going to, but unfortunately it did. And we did also get a little bit of a tear too, which is super frustrating. I'm going to have to go back and fix that real quick. All right, and just a few moments later, I fixed it. And we did kind of mess up our little path in here. So I want to try to bring that back. I'm going to have to come through and fix that. And then we will do our path on this side as well. And it does look like we actually caused a little bit of a crossing in there. We don't really need that. So I want to come back through and draw that in without causing a crossing. Yeah, I think that that's going to be a little bit better. Perfect. And so now we have our little office park serving as a buffer for this area. And then we will actually turn the bulk of the rest of this into industrial. And I like that we actually got some of these smaller little spaces in here that really helps to kind of break it up rather than just getting huge smokestacks. So we'll probably go just like this. Let's go ahead and bring these in. We'll do a little bit of commercial in here just to provide those nice little shops for people. We'll bring that. Let's go ahead and do another little commercial center. And then let's go ahead and do a pathway in here. And we're probably going to do something similar to this side that we did to the other side. And the reason for that would be um, because it would just make it more appealing. Like people don't necessarily want to live next to huge industrial parks. And so by putting this in here, what we're going to do is create a little bit of a buffer so that it's just going to look a little bit better overall. And uh, it also serves the purpose of giving us full zoning, which really goes a long ways. Yeah, let's, uh, you know, we're leaving the site empty. Um, and then that way we can come back through here, fill the rest of this in. Fantastic. Go just like that. And we may come back through and kind of change some of that up because I don't know if I necessarily want um, full zoning off the back of these. So yeah, let's, um, let's remove that. Let's remove that. Any ones that are maybe a little too close to the road, I think are going to be bad. So maybe we'll, let's go ahead and put another little commercial area. No, you know what? It's going to be really tight. Um, let's do an office. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I think that that's going to actually be smart. So we will come in here. Let's do a little office. Um, I'm not really sure how the office is going to react with that, but so dead end, the road says dead end. This does not allow traffic. We had a little piece of road kind of stuck in there. And there we go. That finally uh, worked out a little bit better. Yeah, we make sure that we got zoning. So that, that looks pretty good. It does look like we had a couple casualties, um, but it's it's okay they will figure themselves out i think this looks really cool i like the overall look i like that we got the rail yard right there it does look like we're having some reading area errors over here and it's funny i played around with this a few times already it's because of this little road so like anytime that you get like a bigger piece in here it's not going to fully read off of that so it's a little bit better if we can get yeah to go that way perfect that just works out a little bit better man now we can actually do some fun detailing in there i'm really excited about this so like this little area, that looks awesome. I absolutely love that. I think that looks amazing. I kind of wish that we would have maybe got a couple little paths in there. I think maybe now that we have the buildings in, what we can do, let's go ahead and add that in there. And then what we can do the same thing on this side. So we will add this in here. Fantastic. And what we can do is turn those into little spaces. Yeah, I think that this is going to actually look really cool. So we will do the same thing here. Fantastic. And we're looking pretty good. So we got a lot of detailing opportunities. We still got some space over here. We still. So this is ideally probably going to be turned into a big industrial area. We just need to be careful. So we definitely need to have a road that is going to cut across. And then ideally, I think we're going to put another freeway entrance over here. So if we do something like this, let's go ahead and unlock it. And then let's jump back into our roads. So we're going to go like right about here. So we will go ahead and grab this bigger road. And what I'm going to do is actually bring this out. We're going to go into a bridge. 
I, I want it to still follow at 180 though. We're going to come all the way across, probably about right there. And then let's begin to bring it down. And let's go ahead and bring this out. I feel like this could definitely serve as like a, a main collector for this area. But we want to maybe have another road come down here. So we have this road come up. So let's go ahead and bring this out. And I think what we'll do is we'll go into continuous and we will begin to bring it out this way and let's go up. Yeah, I think that this looks pretty good. That looks good right there. And then that way what we could do, we have a couple options. So we could bring this up and have it kind of wrap around and we could ideally bring this one down. That could actually be pretty good. Or we could bring another road, like say literally right here and go just like this. So I did still want to do a potential airport over here and the airport's going to need a lot of space. Um, and so I think ideally we're probably going to need all this. And if we really start to get crazy with it, um, we may need to uh, play around with some stuff. So let's actually, what I'm thinking, we're going to grab this and we're going to curve this up and then we're going to bring it, be able to bring this out. I think this is going to work out well for a couple reasons. So First off, because it has a direct connection to the other side, it's going to really provide some awesome access for the people over there. And then we'll just have it dead end over here. We really, I, we're not going to be doing anything on this episode. But now that we have that, we've provided kind of a multi-prong approach to, to getting onto the freeway. So they have this huge access point right here. But then as we expand out, you know, maybe do some more industrial or something over here. They're also going to have this access point over here. So basically... So what I'm going to do is just throw a quick little interchange in here. We are kind of stuck with the edge of the map right here. So I think we're going to purchase that one little square. Nothing too crazy, just simple. We'll come out here. I want them to be kind of, I want them to be matched on this side. And so it is kind of tricky sometimes to get it like that. So I'll come out here and try to just get it as close as possible. I think this is probably our best bet over here. And then just connect them up. And just a few moments later, I got it working. I think that this looks pretty good. For a simple connection, we now have access over here, which is fantastic access right here and access right there. And so we do need to do a little bit of residential as well. It's kind of fill in some of this space. I think we're going to follow a similar pattern to what we have going on over here. So it's basically just going to be neighborhoods. We will bring this out and we want it to leave one square on that outside like we did with the last build. So we're going to come out like right there and then let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side. So we're going to come out we want to be at a 90. We want to go like right about there. And then let's go ahead and curve that in now. Because this is going to provide a little bit more of a buffer as well, which I think is going to be really good for this area. So we will create a connection in here, have this come all the way down. We don't need it to connect up to this other side. This is a bigger road. I'd rather not impede it with anything. So we will go ahead and make a double connection on this side. Fantastic. And then I'm just going to do paths going all the way around. All right, so basically what I'm going to do is just copy that kind of layout for these two sections as well. I think it's going to really help us to capture a little bit of a better look. All right, so now that we have that finished, and I did end up doing a couple little bridges in here. I think that over, I think this looks really cool. I like the overall look of that. Um, I think having the two neighborhoods kind of connected by a bridge is cool. It was kind of funny. The game actually did it on its own, but it just didn't do a great job. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put in some, some bridges in here. So I did do a couple little... Uh, commercial centers in here i ended up putting paths around certain sections to create uh commercial districts which i think is just a really cool look for this so we got a couple in here we could probably even do one right here as well i think that that would kind of complete the look because i did mimic it on the other side so we'll come in here finish this little handy dandy path go just like this bada bing and go like that perfect and put that in there and then let's go ahead and do a couple parks in here as well i think that this is going to be a really good kind of use of this so if we do two just like that now basically the whole park is covered by um, park access which is awesome so these are two main roads in we could do some low density housing or we could try to do something kind of cooler in there let's go ahead and fill the rest of this and see what we could maybe do with that front side just because it has that main connection i feel like it would be a really good opportunity for us to maybe do um, some row housing or something like that just to make it look a little bit better um yeah i think so what could we do we could do some apartments too apartments would actually so let's um let's look at some of our apartments so actually these are the mixed use let's come over here so these are the Hey, we got, so we got a new signature building. We got the Sculptor Mansion. The shapes of this mansion reflect the art of the sculptor who owns it. Um, that actually reminds me of like Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright houses. 
Um, there's a really cool Frank Lloyd Wright house outside of Buffalo. It's called the Martin House that is actually really cool. Um, so I think these might be a little too tall for us to place in that front side, but I feel like we could definitely do maybe some row houses. That could be interesting. So let's go ahead and check it out just to see like what we're working with. It looks like I forgot to do a path on this front side. So let's go just like that. Fantastic. We got a path already right there. I kind of wish it was like that. So let's, you know, we're going to mess around with this a bit. And I know these people are going to be so upset. They just built their new home. But I think what we're going to do, we're going to go like that. And then what it's going to do is it's actually going to line up the row houses on the two roads coming in, which I think is going to help to kind of complete the look. And then we can even do a little pathway in here, make this like an alleyway for them. Yeah, I think that this is gonna be a cool little look. So we will come back through, put our row houses in, and we do have a little bit of demand for medium residential. So those should actually fill up pretty quick. Let's go ahead and pump on some three speed and see how this works out. And voila, just a few moments later, we got most of our housing. We've still got a couple little construction sites over here, but I think this looks good. And I like the little commercial areas in here. I think that was a nice little touch. I'm tempted to do some parking, but honestly, these guys got some pretty good little parking lots in them. So I was like, I don't know if that's going to be necessary. And so the goal is to come back through here and I'm going to do some little planters and stuff and kind of clean this up, make it look a little bit better, probably do some more pathways. Um, but overall, I think that looks really good. Man, we got the snow coming in. This is gonna be terrible. So what I think we're gonna do now, we wanna work on this here and kind of wrap this all up. We're gonna leave a lot of this empty today. We're gonna do probably um, another welfare office right there. I think that that would be a nice touch. And then let's expand some of this industrial out just to kind of make this look a little bit better. Cause right now this is just kind of lacking. So if we go ahead and do go out just like this, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow this road we're gonna have this road follow the rail line just because first off, it's gonna work as like a, a utility road. So like if they need to work on the rail line for anything, like they're able to. And then second off, it kind of allows us to just fill in the space a little bit to make it look a little bit better. So we will come out here and let's go ahead and go. We want it to be 90 with the road, which is gonna be a little bit tricky. So let's actually go out here. We're gonna come off 90 off of that. And then we're gonna, we can now come off 90 off of this just to make sure that it's going to be good. So we'll go just like that. And then let's go ahead and do it again. We're going to come out to let's go up 90 if we can get it. Yeah, just like that. Fantastic. Then we will come out here again, go out 90. Fantastic. And then I think we could maybe change directions on this one. So if we go out one and then let's have this come down and cross and then that way we can actually maybe curve this road in. I think that, that could be good. So if we, that one was a little bent. If we go back into roads, continuous, I think if we curve this, if we go just like this, yeah, you know what? That makes it look a little bit better. I like the sweeping turn of that. I think overall, it's just gonna help us to capture a really cool look in here. I think we will try our best to see if this can follow the rail line under the bridge. I'm pretty sure it can. Yeah, we'll go just like this, fantastic. So we got a nice little um, utility road following the rail line. And would you look at that? Milestone 11 unlocked, big city, congratulations. The city is coming along nicely, thank you game. So we got 2.8 million simoleons, 11 more development points. We really gotta start, man. We're up like a ton of development points points now. And we got 18, um, 18 expansion points. And man, we are getting close to large city. We got large city coming up. I don't know if we get any more unlocks. Do we get unlocks or is it just money? Yeah, so we, don't really get any huge unlocks. We do get to the development points though. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and start doing some industrial in here. And ideally, I don't know if it would be smart for us to have the industrial actually cutting off of this road because we do have the cargo yard right there. I don't wanna create any unnecessary traffic. So I think it would just be smarter for us, a little bit proactive to come in here, put paths on this side just so that we can kind of cut it off. Um, same with this side. I don't really want any zoning on that. I think that that's going to be a huge mistake. So we will come out here, go just like this. And this actually serves multiple purposes. So it helps us to create a little bit more connectivity in here too, which is good. So we'll go just like that. And then let's fill this in with industrial. We still got a huge demand for it. And I like that it's all different shapes too. This is going to help us to, again, capture a really cool look rather than just having them all kind of be the same, same shape. 
Um, let's maybe connect this up. And then that way we can allow this to kind of grow in. We'll come through, do some trees and stuff, kind of fill it in. We'll probably do the same thing on this side just to fill in that space. Or, you know, let's go ahead and leave that side empty for now. Um, and then we'll kind of see as we expand if that's entirely necessary. So for this road, what I was thinking, I was kind of looking at this. I was like, man, what's the best approach for this? I think if we were to bring this straight and then actually bridge over the highway, it might provide some really good connectivity for us. So if we go up now and then cross and then let's go ahead and just go down again. I don't think we're going to be playing around with the other side of the highway today, but having those connections for futures are really going to help us out a ton because the problem with this road, it really doesn't have a lot of connectivity. So like you see this, this is the main junction. So if we do any sort of large industrial, we're going to have to create some more connections over here. But ideally, this connection right here is going to become very tedious and so it might even be proactive of, of us to uh, put in a roundabout let's go ahead and go like that let's just see and then let's see if that messed up our pathway a little bit it did just a smidge so i think we will redraw that in yeah let's go just like this connect it up fantastic and then now that is a little bit more proactive um, this is going to become a pretty big interchange um, especially as we connect this one up so like if we bridge these across maybe do another freeway connection right there it's really going to provide some much needed accessibility. And so I think one of the ways that we're going to combat this little bottleneck that we have here is actually to provide another connection in here. And we could have this road just continue on, maybe bridge across again. I think it would be kind of a waste of money for them to maybe do two bridges like that. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to come out this way and then we will actually go up and turn this into a little bit of a viaduct. So we'll go up and then have this cut all the way across and then go down again not going to do anything with that but what it allows us to do is bring this now so we will probably go like right here let's go out so we'll hit that page up button cross the, the rail yard and then go down and then let's go ahead and bridge this in and then let's go ahead and bring this across now so if we go just like this let's bring it all the way to that road but we're not going to connect up to that road because we already have a pretty clean connection for that and we don't really want to mess it up if we don't have to so I think we'll go just like that. I think that this overall is gonna be a nice look. Um, we could maybe, let's see if we can bring this out even more. I mean, this would be ideal if we could get this across. So if we go like this, I wonder how this is going to mess it up if we, so you know what, it's not too bad. That actually, I think that overall looks okay. And then that way what we can do is kind of come through here, go all the way down and then just have one road probably cut through the middle. And then let's go ahead and have this one continue on, go just like that. We're really gonna have to be careful with this. So I think we're gonna leave this part empty for potential future uses. And then let's just come through here and do some blanket zoning of these areas. I think that that would be okay. Again, this would be a really good site for a signature building. So now we will come up over here. Let's do a path on this side because we remember we don't want this to be, we don't want zoning on that side. And then I think we're actually gonna do just a small little commercial area in here. And then, so we'll do that. So we unlocked the muscle car garage, great. So we got another signature building. We're gonna do a, just a little bit of parking to provide some accessibility for these people. Go just like that. And I think that is good. I'm glad the snow kind of tapered away for right now. And I think that looks good. We don't need to do too much. A lot of this empty space is actually gonna help us to capture a little bit of a better look. So if we go into place multiple, I think we wanna go into like a tree set. So we're gonna come in here. Let's go ahead and start placing these down. I just wanna come through and because Tampere is such a wooded city, I wanna have quite a lot of trees. So we'll go like this. Overall, I think this looks really good. It's definitely, you know, it looks a little unfinished, but that's because we still have a lot that we're gonna be doing. And I don't want to necessarily fill in a lot of this space. Like, I think this would be a huge mistake for us to get a little too crazy with this. Like, we really want to leave room for future expansion. I think this looks good, though. Um, we got some residential. We got this whole area going. We got a lot of industrial. And I really like the overall look of this area. Go ahead and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse. I'm going to be getting a little crazy. I'm going to put some trees in here. I'm going to be playing around with the decals. I'm probably going to place maybe a little bit more industrial just to uh, complete the look. And so I hope you guys enjoy. I will catch you on the other side.
Okay, so after quite a long time, I think I actually ended up spending like three or four hours on this. I am now complete, or at least I'm at a place where I feel comfortable to just reveal it. I did add in a couple other little locations and I did extend out some of our parks. I'm actually really excited about this new tool um, because now we can actually do custom parks. And I did also find another new mod, which I think is fantastic. So if I come up here, click on this, I can go to find stuff. So this is the same as find it. And one of the best parts about this is we can now get into a lot of the stuff is a part of parks and stuff like that. So we can go into benches, garden bench, you know, tennis bench, and we can kind of place these down. You kind of see I added to a few parks to kind of make them just a little bit bigger. I think this one I actually kind of took to the extreme. So I did a lot of benches and tables and stuff. And, and I think it just looks really cool. I'm actually I'm a huge fan of this mod. And one of the cool things with this too, you can actually select rocks. So there's now rocks available, but you can, you know, similar to find it, just select something and you can copy it. So you can click this and go like that. And there is just an infinite realm of possibilities with this. And I'm so excited about it. Um, so I did extend out quite a few of our parks. I think this looks fantastic. I absolutely love the look of these a lot. And I like how it really helps to kind of grab the city and kind of bring it together. I extended out a lot of these uh, buildings as well. And you kind of see I did do our little planters. I kind of mixed them up a little bit and it kind of became tedious after a while. I was like, man, this is just so much work. But overall, I think it looks really good. I really like our boardwalk here, how it's tree lined and it kind of helps to separate from the industrial area. And I really like our rail yard. I think this whole area is probably my favorite build now. I think this just looks really cool. We did a good job with the curved roads and having this come down and we we created that accessibility with another freeway access point, though we do have this kind of just dumping in. So we already have some really good accessibility. And so my goal for the next couple episodes, we're gonna place a welfare office. We really need to start looking at some of our education. We're definitely having a little bit of a lag in education. Our college is already pretty much tapped out over here and we've already extended out all, quite a bit of stuff. And remember we had tried to leave a little bit of room for that college library. And of course I didn't leave enough room. And so I don't think we're gonna be able to place that there. So what I'm thinking is we're probably gonna add another college in over here, but I have a really fun idea to start branching off and doing our university. I had spoke about this a little bit previously, but I think we're gonna end up doing like a hilltop education area. And then we're gonna start working on our downtown. I have a few really cool ideas for this. So I wanna start turning this into high density and we're really gonna start building some of this out. Wanna do a big harbor. There's really just a lot that I'm uh, kind of playing around with and so, Go ahead and let me know if you guys have any fun ideas or if there's anything that you guys want to see. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. And I will catch you guys on the next episode.